Well, here we are at 3840 Carpenter Road in Ann Arbor. Uh, this is the building we're looking at right here. Um, looking back behind me at Carpenter Road, uh, you know, it's a main thoroughfare that separates basically Ypsilanti, Ann Arbor, and Pittsfield Township. Across the street here you have a Target. Um, there's a Lowe's right next door, which is behind. Uh, there's a GFS food store, then a Lowe's. Then up the street behind us is a Home Depot. Um, Ellsworth is to the uh, south of us here. This used to be an old bus maintenance facility. Uh, what we're looking at doing is taking the, these, the first four units here, and I'll walk in and show you what we have. Uh, you can see that uh, since it is a bus maintenance facility, I mean, obviously there's good traffic flow around. It's kind of unique. The trucks could come basically straight off Carpenter, right down through here, around to the back. You can see how that road goes around. And there's large uh, overhead doors in the back, 20 by 12s. Okay. It's kind of tucked off the main road a little bit. First unit is actually a double unit. Let's see. Uh, the first 16 feet all the way across this is composed of like an office space. And that's consistent through all four of these little units. Getting into the back, you have a bathroom in the back on each corner of these units. Uh, there's mechanical units on top of the bathrooms that support the plot of the office. Ceiling height's not a problem. We're about 25 feet in the center, about 18 on the edges. Every unit has a, a 20 by 12 overhead door. Uh, there's a sanitary line that runs straight through the building. You see where this trench is right here. The floor's not in the greatest shape, but uh, it's passable. Um, there's electrical panels, at least a 100 amp panel in each one of these little spaces. Um, these walls that separate them, they're not interested in us taking them down. They were expensive to put in. He said around 10 grand a pop. So what they'd like us to do if we're going into here is cut a couple of openings. All right. Uh, every, each one of the warehouses has at least one unit heater. Okay. All the doors are electrically operated. I right. see some fans up in the ceiling as well. Keep the air moving. to walk through and kind of see how they got this separated. And walk through to the next section. These are just more of these little office spaces in front. All this can just be wiped out. I have all the dimensions for the windows and so on. Take a look at these other oops, gotta go back up. Take a look at these other two. Which are essentially the same. Once again, more office space in the front. And your warehouse. Let's walk around here to the back and get outside and take a look at the access we have. As you can see, the trucks, there's plenty of room to, to swing in. Oh, they'd actually have to probably uh, back in. That's what they'll have to do, get up there and back in. That might be a little tighter than I thought. And so let's take a look at this. I don't think there's enough room to turn these trucks around back in here and here. I'm only looking at about 55 feet from the building to that back curb. And this parking lot's a little narrow, so if they pull in here on this back, uh, there really won't be much space to turn around. We'd have to try that, yeah, because, like I said, they'd have to pull straight in through here, all the way in, come back, and they'd have to try to jackknife, I guess, to turn back around in here. It's really not that much room.
this might warrant another look by somebody more learned than I on um, access. Take a look at this next suite real quick. It's basically the same. This one's occupied by an architect, but it's the same basic plan. Office in the front, warehouse in the back. You kind of get the feel for it. Once again, the building's in decent location. A uh, little concerned about the access for trucks getting in and out. Um, that's about it from. Ann Arbor.